Hi there, how are you doing? Okay, today's topic is something that you come across every day. Okay, and we'll just have a new name for what you've been seeing every day. Let's first look at a few images. I don't think there will be much left for explanation. I know you guys are smart enough, you'll get it instantly. Let's look at the first image. What we have here is the Indian flag. Now, look at the lines that are being highlighted. I'm going to ask you later what it means, okay? So, watch closely and see if there's any pattern that I'm trying to tell you. I want you to have a look at the lines of the flag that are highlighted. Okay, are we done? Next, let's move to the next image. Now, okay, what do we have here? The English alphabet H. Now, in the English alphabet H, okay, let's look at the highlighted lines over there, the two lines. Okay, what's common? Keep in mind what we saw before. Okay, let's move on. Moving on to the next image. Oh, right, we have a window here. Something you come across every day, right? Now, in a window, look at the two edges. Uh, okay, let's visualize the edges as lines. Do we see anything common here in this case? Okay, keep thinking. We are, I know you've got it already, but one more image. Let's have a look. So, the next one here is a notebook. Okay, right. Now, fine. Okay, again, the edges of the notebook. Fine. So, okay, I now, I'm sure you've got a faint idea. Okay, let's have a look, of all, look at all of them together to be really sure what I mean. Okay, just compare all the lines. What do you think is common in between them? Do you think they're going to meet? Okay, in this picture, they're not meeting for sure. But if I imagine extending them beyond the picture, do you think they'll ever meet? Of course, no, they're never going to meet. And why do you think that is? Okay, could the reason be because the distance between the two lines is same throughout? Like I mean, in the Indian flag, the distance between the lines is same, right? And the same case in the case of the alphabet H or a window, the opposite sides of a window or could be a notebook. So, in all these cases, we have examples of line that are never going to meet one and they are at equal distance from each other throughout. So, these are the two very important features of lines that are also known as parallel lines. So, what we saw were examples of parallel lines in our everyday life. You can find them everywhere. Try to find some more cases yourself and make a list of it. Now, keep in mind what is our requirement? They are parallel lines, so they are never going to meet. Remember, never. And the other important feature is they are the same distance apart throughout. Okay, so the distance between the lines remains the same throughout. So these are the most important features of parallel lines. Keep this in mind when you're finding out more examples of, this, of such kind from around you. Let's look at a few more examples to see what happens when the lines meet. Okay, how do they look like? Now, our first example here is just a sample of the English letter X. The two lines of the letters are meeting at a point. Okay. Now, let's look at the other image to get a clear idea. Okay, now this is a pair of scissors. You come across this every day. Now, do you see the lines meeting? Yes, they do. In this case, also the lines are meeting. Now, these are called as intersecting lines. So, lines, very simple lines which meet are called as intersecting lines. The only feature to remember here is that they have a meeting point. And remember, at times what happens is the meeting point is not so obvious. Okay, so in certain cases, supposing if there is a line like this and there is another line like this. Now, since these are lines, I'll have to draw the arrows. Now, what do you think? Are these intersecting lines? Not right now, but then what if I extend it beyond, will they intersect? Yeah, actually they will, right? So, this is where they're intersecting. So, watch out for such lines and remember when they meet, we call them intersecting lines.